Hi, my name is Naomi Otsu, and I'm a graphic designer and illustrator based in New York. I love creating bright, fun, detailed illustrations, and the subjects can range from detailed cityscapes to floral motifs. In my work, I always incorporate bright colors, energetic lines, and textures that give it that extra hand and feel. Adobe Stock is a perfect place to find those elements that can give my drawings that next level of dimension and character. In today's challenge, we'll be creating a menu using Adobe Stock for a fictional Japanese bento restaurant. In addition to the menu, we'll be creating accompanying spot illustrations, and the menu should be both physical and digital. We'll be using Adobe Stock images and assets for both reference and textures. The final result will be a printed and digital menu that features spot illustrations with a pop of texture. I named this fictional restaurant after my Japanese grandmother, Yoshiko. As you can see here, I've already prepared the logo, QR code, and color palette since our focus today is primarily the menu layout and accompanying illustrations. I like to start by mapping out the flow of information by sketching. Sketching like this helps quickly problem solve what information should go where. Here I'm using boxes to represent various categories in our menu. Once you find a layout that works well, I'm gonna start placing the information on a letter size document in Adobe InDesign. Okay, so let's roughly place the text before getting into the nitty gritty. Now that that's done, we'll figure out what kind of type we'll like to use for our restaurant menu. I'm gonna head over to Adobe Fonts to look for a font that works well with the logo. In this case, it looks like the logo is a monotype font, so I'm gonna look for something similar. Adobe Fonts provides this amazing feature where they recommend various font pairings. I think this pairing will look great on the menu, so I'm gonna click activate for both fonts here. Let's identify the spaces that need to be filled with our spot illustrations. I've circled them here so we have a sense of what ratio and dimension we want our illustrations to be. Now to the digital menu. We'll be creating this menu in Adobe XD. Adobe XD is a great tool to use to lay out user-friendly websites for a wide variety of screen dimensions. We'll be laying out the text using the same fonts but in a slightly longer format so it's more suited for a phone. When making a menu, you want to make sure that the information is legible and really easy to understand. And since the layout here is a little bit more straightforward for visibility purposes, the illustrations will most likely be slotted in or in between categories. Okay, we're done setting up the menu layout for both the physical and digital menu. Let's move on to our illustrations. This is my favorite part. Before we start looking for our illustration references, let's set up our document to really pinpoint what kind of reference photo we'll be looking for. After I've sketched this out over my screenshot, I know I want a photo of a rice ball, a fish, and a bento box. Now let's go to Adobe Stock to look up those references. So I know I want a bento box illustration, specifically Tonkatsu Bento. And as you can see, Adobe Stock offers so many different options. Once I've found something I like, I'm gonna click in and use this great feature called Find Similar, which gives me a curated view of images that are visually similar to this one I selected. This helps me narrow down the images to what I'm truly looking for. I'm gonna search for some additional images like the rice ball and the fish using this feature. I also wanna add some texture to my illustrations. I love using a spray paint texture, so let's look for something in that vein. If you click See More Here, this allows you to see more from this series, which is another great way to narrow down your search. Okay, now that we've selected our references, let's start drawing. Okay, now using the brush tool, I'm gonna to go into a new layer and start drawing the spots using Adobe Stock Images as the reference. Amazing, illustrations are done. So let's place them in our menu. After we export, we drop these back into Adobe InDesign, and here I'm gonna adjust everything until it fits perfectly. I'm loving how this looks. Let's add some textures we found on Adobe Stock. I ended up choosing these amazing spray paint textures. These particular assets are vectors, so I'll be opening these up in Adobe Illustrator, adjusting the color, and then pasting them on a new layer in Adobe InDesign. And there you have it, a visually exciting menu ready to go. Designing a layout with a lot of information mixed in with illustrations may seem overwhelming, but with the help of Adobe Stock, it's easier than ever to create exciting and dynamic designs. To recap, we started out by sketching some layout ideas. Once we found our favorite, we created these layouts in Adobe InDesign and Adobe XD. We found some references and textures and for our spot illustrations in Adobe Stock, and we finalized our menu by placing the finished illustrations and textures in our layout. Thanks for watching my episode. You can check out my stock collection at Adobe Stock.